today I will show you how to get a cheap host to host anything you want WordPress um, PHP script anything you want you can mention it and it's very affordable unlike the custom um, host other I mean other paid host that charges too much money so before we get into it I would urge you to go to telegram and join us you know our old telegram channel was deleted so I would drop the link below this is our new telegram and then i will tell you one or two things that we normally do here we we'll drop update how to make money online and hold your hand help you with tools tutorial and things that would make you succeed on this you know um stage so without wasting much of your time here is the telegram here so before we get into this um tutorial you will need a couple of things you will need some dollar and then you would you know need some brain so let's get started into it yeah so before we do this what you need to do is um open your browser copy this link and then go to your browser and, and paste it make sure you use this link um you know you will get a huge discount and also you're not gonna get your vps ban anytime I've actually tested it and uh, it's work so go to cloud VPS follow me as I do this and then when you go to cloud VPS you can see there's a lot of prices there you can choose anyone you want but don't go for the $3 um, cloud VPS go for like the $5 there choose the five and above and then when um, you want to select um um you know select uh, ubuntu 24 and set your password add your ubuntu password make sure it is something you can remember and then click next can see what I'm doing here you have to do the same um, make sure everything is set properly and then click on next and you know this is gonna last you for a very very long time and it does not get read and you know it doesn't get taken down this is like your own personal host It's not managed by anyone it is only managed by you all right so click on next and then we need to do some purchasing that is the next page okay you can see we're on the next page so we'll click on order and pay so i'll block the other path because of i would add my card detail so what you will do here is um you actually when you are done paying you would get your details sent to your email and also you have to set up a contable email and then password you know with um the with the email that is sent to you they are actually going to give you a default or password that you can log in with it was done they sent me um when it was done loading they sent me the detail and a new login um, detail for Contabo so already I have an account that I'm using so I'm just doing all this for the video tutorial so you can see here so they sent me the detail so I already have my own um, in a login so you can just log into the old one and then reset your password and then go to after you're done resetting your password on the upper dashboard you're gonna see a login to the new contable dashboard and here is the new dashboard you're gonna log in there so let's get started so since you already have your you already have the detail they sent to you i mean your ip address and the password you set yourself when you are um, about to purchase when you are about to purchase it so you need the two so what we do now is either we go to putty or any uh, you can use anything you want to log into this uh, vps um for me i'm gonna use uh, this um uh, tamius so 
when you come here you log in i already did all this you log in um if you can if you are not a user you sign up it's still the same with your gmail when you sign up you will see a download button there download it all right so now let's get started i already have my own um, i'll go to terminals and i will click on new host when after you download you don't download in it you would have to you know um, install it and then enter your details so i'm going to copy the new ip the new ip they gave me which is this one from the other uh, from the other detail they sent to me i'll copy it and then i'll go to the terminals and i'll put it okay so here i'll put the label um maybe i'll call it um new host new host you can call your own anything you want all right so username i'm going to call it like root and then the password is going to be the password i sent i set when i was trying to you know purchase it so here is my own so these are the details i have and i will connect So yours is not going to show this. I I resetted mine because of the tutorial. So you just had to, you know, keep on with it. So when you log in, this is the dashboard that you're going to get. So um, we'll copy this command. I will leave everything in this uh, video tutorial so you can use. Um, I'll copy this command. I'll go to Qlify. Then find their yeah, installation okay i'll copy this command here and then go to time use and then paste the command uh, this command is one time installed so you do not have to do it like two times click on it and then let it do your thing so you are going to wait for some time for it to install okay qualify is done installing so here is another thing we're gonna do um we'll copy the ipv4 link they gave us which is this one and then we'll open our browser all right this one copy it then open our browser and paste it there This is it. So we are going to set up a new account. Um, here I'll set up a new account, Latin man, and then email. Um, I'm going to use this one already. Um, I will use this. So I'm going to type it again. Then I will install. So click on get started, click on next. So, you know, um, um, Qualify is um, offering remote server and local host. So for now, we'll go with local host. Create a new project. Voila. so we are here we are done installing everything so um this is a very nice host you can install anything they gave you if you try to install wordpress you can see these are wordpress they gave you it comes with a custom link as well but we have to set our own host to it you can see the kind of link they gave us here see this is the own gibberish link and it's not good looking so i would i already bought um a domain so i would leave a link for you to buy a domain on name for a little price and 
there's a way i'm going to configure this domain in a wildcard form so that it will not be banned and it will not be taken down so i already purchased this one so what i'll do is just maybe go to my account and then you know use anyone i want um maybe let me use this one i'll manage this one i'll go to go to advanced dns so here i'll add a new record it's going to be a record and then here is going to be at or uh, maybe a new let's give it a new uh, subdomain maybe cell so we copied our uh, domain name and i mean our domain ip our contable uh, ip which is sorry our vps so it's going to be cell linking to this so we go back to the go to setting sorry i'm getting confused so here we are going to use the cell https let me just you know copy this so we use cell dots and then we'll copy the subdomain because this is a subdomain we created cell and it belongs to this this account so we are going to copy it and paste it there all right so um you can give it any name you want maybe i'll call it latin man all right so when this is what i did here when you are done you click on save when you are done click on save all right so um it might take some minutes for it to propagate and then yeah, it will change from this um this ip to maybe uh, to the new uh, name we give it which is this okay it's already changed so you can see it's now in https uh so um we now have to sell wildcard so how do we do this we are going to go to the um this place and uh, which is nameship add a record again a record here we are going to add let me be doing it in a way you can understand So reason why I have to do it like this is because I've looked for this on my keyboard. I couldn't find it. So I just have to put it manually. I'll put it here. Then put a dot dot app. Okay, here. Dot app. But I'm not going to use app again. I'm going to use something like um maybe cell or maybe um now. Okay. And then same IP we used before here. Okay, remove space, remove space, and then set it to automatic and save. So here we are done. Now what you would do now, you go back to your qualify, go to server. We are done setting up this um domain so now we are setting up y card y card so that every new thing we deploy will have a cost we have a domain on it and it will end with the the um it will end with the now we gave it all right so go back to it and go to server click on localhost 
and you find wildcard here. So add the wildcard name, which is um now. So copy this this link and then remember the wildcard name is now. So we will now have to go back to qualify and here we'll type um let's copy a link first because this typing this manually takes me time copy this put it here and add s to it then add now dot and then this is the now here you can use anyone and then the domain name you are going to add it there as for the wildcard and then you click on save this thing is going to show click on save so it's saved now so let's deploy a new project and test this so let's go to projects this is the last project to deploy it all right let me deploy a new project so if we go to wordpress here's wordpress you can see now we have a wildcard domain here this is it this is the domain here so you can just type anything here maybe you can type two you can type w and save this is the domain so anything we deploy is going to have this domain here and uh, it's even you can redirect do anything you want all right So let's deploy this. We'll click on deploy. This same way is the way you are going to host anything you, are, you want to host. You can deploy an 8M here free of charge and do anything you want to do with this. I'll show you. The next part is we'll be talking about how to make SMTP with this. Okay, we are done. Um, here, here is the link. You just have to go to it. You can see it's now in English. I'm not going to deploy this. Put your site, put your password, and what WordPress is installed, and it's now HTTP, um, HTTPS or whatever. So. Yeah, not to make the video very long, I would, you know, stop here. I showed you how to, you know, connect your domain, you know, for the hosting and also showed you how to set up your wildcard so that your, your link will not look bad. It will have a custom domain. And then the next part, I will show you how to, you know, purchase a VPN and set up smtp to send bulk email there are three ways to the next step but i will talk about it one after the other don't forget join us i might not post it on youtube join us on telegram and then follow and like and share this video all right bye